Have you ever wondered about the best ways to manage your blood glucose levels? Today, we're diving into the world of glycemic control. Blood glucose, or blood sugar, is a vital source of energy for the cells in our bodies. But when it's not well regulated, especially in cases of diabetes, it can lead to health complications. Understanding and managing these levels is crucial to our overall health. So, stay with us as we delve into eight strategies to manage and maintain healthy blood glucose levels. First off, let's talk about insulin sensitivity. This term might sound complicated, but it's really quite simple. It refers to how responsive our cells are to insulin, a hormone that helps absorb sugar from our bloodstream into our cells. The more sensitive our cells are, the better they can absorb sugar, leading to more stable blood glucose levels. But why is this important? Well, when our insulin sensitivity is high, our body needs less insulin to keep blood sugar levels in check. This is especially beneficial for people dealing with diabetes, as their body either doesn't produce enough insulin or can't use it effectively. So how can we improve insulin sensitivity? Regular physical activity, a balanced diet and maintaining a healthy weight are all key strategies. Limiting processed foods, consuming fibrous unprocessed foods, and incorporating aerobic exercise into your routine can all contribute to boosting insulin sensitivity. By improving insulin sensitivity, you're ensuring your body effectively uses the sugar in your bloodstream. Scene script. Stress and physical activity play key roles in managing your blood glucose levels. Let's talk about stress first. We all experience it, and while a little bit of stress can keep us on our toes, chronic stress becomes a silent saboteur. It can wreak havoc on our bodies, and yes, it does affect our blood glucose levels. When we're stressed, our bodies respond by releasing hormones that increase glucose in our bloodstream, providing us with energy to handle the stressful situation. But if this goes on for too long, it can lead to higher blood glucose levels. So what's the solution here? Well, it's simpler than you think. Managing stress is all about finding balance. It's about making time for activities that bring you joy, calm your mind, and help you relax. This could be anything from reading a book, practicing yoga, meditating, or simply taking a walk in the park. And remember, it's not about completely eliminating stress, but rather learning how to navigate it. And speaking of navigating, let's steer our conversation towards physical exercise. Regular physical exercise is a potent tool in your arsenal for managing blood glucose levels. When we engage in physical activity, our muscles use up glucose for energy. This not only helps lower blood glucose levels, but also improves insulin sensitivity. Now you might be thinking, but I don't have time for a full-blown workout every day. Don't worry, every step counts. Whether it's a brisk walk, a quick run, or some light stretching, the aim is to get moving. And for those who love a good challenge, high-intensity interval training, often known as HIT, can be highly beneficial. It's a form of exercise where you alternate between intense bursts of activity and fixed periods of less intense activity or even complete rest. But remember, always consult with a healthcare professional before starting any new exercise regime, especially if you have existing health conditions. Remember, a little movement goes a long way in maintaining your glycemic health. A good night's sleep and a fiber-rich diet are your allies in controlling glucose levels. Ever wondered why you feel off-kilter after a restless night? Well, it turns out that sleep is not just for recharging your mind and body. It plays an essential role in maintaining insulin sensitivity, which directly impacts your blood glucose levels. When we don't clock in enough sleep, our bodies may struggle to use insulin effectively, leading to elevated blood sugar levels. So, aim for a minimum of 7 to 9 hours of sleep per night. It's not just about the quantity though, quality matters too. A peaceful, uninterrupted snooze session is what your body needs to function at its best. Now, let's talk about the food on your plate. A diet rich in fibers, particularly those from unprocessed foods, can be a game changer in managing your glucose levels. Foods like fruits, vegetables, and whole grains are packed with dietary fiber. This fiber slows down the absorption of sugar into your bloodstream, preventing sudden spikes and crashes in blood sugar levels. Plus, these foods are nutrient-dense, providing your body with the essential vitamins and minerals it needs to function optimally. Imagine this, a well-rested body and a belly full of wholesome, fiber-rich food. It's a winning combination, isn't it? And the best part? It's a simple and effective strategy that you can start implementing today. Prioritize your sleep and choose whole foods, for they are your partners in glycemic control. Let's talk about diet, fasting, and constant monitoring. First off, 
processed foods, and sugary drinks. These items are often high not only in sugars but also in unhealthy fats and sodium. They can cause sharp spikes in blood sugar levels and contribute to weight gain, which can decrease insulin sensitivity over time. Instead of reaching for that can of soda or bag of chips, why not choose whole foods like fresh fruits, vegetables and whole grains? These unprocessed options are packed with fiber, which slows down the absorption of sugar into your bloodstream and prevents sudden spikes in glucose levels. Now let's dive into a fascinating topic, intermittent fasting. This practice involves cycling between periods of eating and fasting. The idea is to give your body a break from processing food. During this break, your body can focus on other tasks like repairing cells and burning fat. An intriguing benefit of intermittent fasting is its potential to increase insulin sensitivity. This means your body can use insulin more efficiently to lower blood glucose levels. But remember, it's important to approach intermittent fasting in a balanced and healthy way. Always consult with a healthcare professional before starting any new dietary regimen. Finally, let's discuss the importance of regular monitoring and dietary adjustments. Keeping track of your blood glucose levels and how different foods affect them can provide valuable insights. This allows you to make informed choices about what to eat and when. It's not about completely avoiding certain foods, but rather understanding how they impact your body and adjusting your intake accordingly. Remember, everyone's body responds differently to different foods. What works for one person may not work for another. Therefore, consistent monitoring and adapting your diet based on your individual needs and responses is key. Small changes in your diet and lifestyle can significantly improve your long-term glycemic control. We've come a long way in understanding how to manage blood glucose levels. From enhancing insulin sensitivity, managing stress, engaging in physical exercises, ensuring sufficient sleep, consuming fibers from unprocessed foods, avoiding processed foods and sugary drinks, considering intermittent fasting to monitoring glucose levels and making dietary changes. Remember, consistency is key in this journey. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like, share it with others, and don't forget to subscribe to RapidQuest Health for more health tips. See you in our next video.